goes the front rod. It's got, yeah, he's got it. Not sure if he had it or not. He hit it hard. He kind of come back up on me. I think he's not going to be very big. I think that's what's going on here. But we finally hooked up with one, y'all. I have been just getting peck, peck, peck out here so far this morning. Look at this. Look at this. There's two fish. I've hooked one, and the other's trying to get the bait from him. Look at that. They're two about the same size. He's trying to steal that bait out of his mouth. <laughs> How awesome is that? He got it too. He ripped that other bait off the hook. That's what's been down there though, plaguing me so far this morning, is fish this size right here. Just these baby blue cats barely big enough to get the hook most of them down there probably ain't big enough to get the hook and i've just since i dropped my baits down just constant peck 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 peck, peck. there he is we got that and what i'm doing out here today though y'all is i am bar hopping out here on watts bar i am drifting a bar now if you watch my channel regularly you saw me fish this area one of these rods around here was getting hit. I felt it. Uh, but you saw me fish this area last week. I fished the other side of the bar. What we've got here is a big island up here behind me. And before they flooded all this to make the reservoir, this island was huge and it extended down all the way down through here. So now that most of this island is underwater, it creates a long bar right down through here. So last week when I was out here, I drifted the other side of it and just covered a big stretch of it, got on some good fish, got a big blue cat and got a monster flathead. So I thought I'm gonna come back out here today and we'll drift this side of the bar. The other side of there is the secondary channel. I'm out here toward the main channel side today. Depth is kind of gonna be the same as what you saw in that video, kind of in that 35 to 40 foot range. We're just gonna cover that all the way down through here. Have my bait suspended two to three feet off bottom. Bait out here today is kind of a variety. I've got two rods baited with skipjack and two rods baited with shad. I've got some threadfin shad and some gizzard shad. Now that fish there that hooked up, I had some smaller threadfin shad. I had like four of them, just whole shad on the hook. That rod right there just got hit. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what's been plaguing me all the way down through here. Just them small fish, not big enough to get hooked up, just pecking at my baits. I hate it when that happens. You know, I like getting action, but when they're so small, they can't get your bait in a hook. They just down there damaging your bait, so they're not in good shape when you do come across a big one. But like I said, we're gonna cover some water out here this morning. Got my speed set at like 0.3, 0.4 miles an hour. And we'll see what we can find out here today. Well, there goes the back rod. The, oh, he let it go. Doggone it, man. They get me excited for nothing, y'all. They're teasing me out here today. Let's go ahead and get this other hook baited, though. I'm just gonna do the same thing with this one as I did with the last one. I've got all these little shad. I got a few gizzard shad, but not many, so most of what I got when I threw the net was these threadfin shad. And so what I like to do with these is either cut them up in chunks and put them a bunch of them on the hook to make a bigger bait or do that right there. Just put several of them on the hook and again it's a lot of small baits can make one larger size profile bait down there and still you got all that slime and blood and everything putting off the scent so we'll send it down feed them small dinks down there that'll help them get big and strong won't it because <laughs> that front rod again with them shad on there let's see if this one here's any bigger just been on a stool of these small now nah, you just let it go probably took all the bait with it too sure did oh it's frustrating y'all we may have to end up moving we're just getting stripped clean non-stop with these small fish we're gonna have to 
make a change. Hopefully we'll move on past them here shortly. Otherwise, we're gonna make a run here in a little bit. Got all these rods up here. That in there's swimming. He might actually hook up. These small fish are annoying, y'all. I just want them to leave me on that one's gonna. Yeah, we got that one finally. I just want them to leave my baits alone till Big Mama comes along. Oh, here goes the back one, too. You can see right here, y'all. All them little squiggles right there. That's just small fish all over my baits down there. If we don't get past them, I'm gonna have to make a change here shortly. Gonna have to, even though I don't want to. All right, let me set him back a second and just see if this other one actually hooked up. Yeah, he did. I got a feeling though, he's probably gonna be. No, nope, he just come undone. Let's see if he took the bait with it. The bait's still on there, it's chewed up. We'll send it back down. That's frustrating, y'all. I always like catching fish, but these little ones, they are a nuisance when you're out here after the big one. And I had high hopes coming out here today. After that last trip, I thought, might get even, get some even better quality on this side of the bar that's closer to the closer to the main channel and you know the the heavier flow of the current and thus far it just has not lived up to my expectations there he is finally finally hooked up down there all right let's bait up and do it again this back rod's got hit I think he's hooked up. I switched this bait out a little while ago. I mean, he's swimming with it too. I switched this bait out with a big headpiece. Just to try to, well, I guess make a bait last a little longer with them dinks down there. It'll make them work a little harder to strip it off the hook there. But I'm finally hooked up with something here. I don't think he's gonna be no monster. But he certainly can't be no smaller than the other ones we got, no. Oh, that's the, oh goodness. That's the best one of the morning so far. That's one of them old, eh, we'll call him a fun sizer. We're gonna get her bait back too. Hot dog. <laughs> I definitely want that bait back. The way these dinks are acting out here this morning, I'm going through bait pretty quick. Come on up here, Mr. Blue Cat. You coming in? Yeah, guys. Up there. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, he's gonna act a fool now. Hey, quit that. Quit that now. We can't be acting. We can't be roughhousing in the kayak. You do that while you're in the water down there. Let's get that hook out of your mouth and show you off to the world. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Blue Cat and for the audience watching at home, I have had some camera difficulties. The camera that I normally use on the front of the kayak to get the better hero shots, they call them, malfunctioned on my last trip. So, unfortunately, not gonna be able to get any decent shots today unless I just get a monster, then I'll set up my other camera. I'll try to hold him out as far as I can, but that's a good fish. That's a fun sizer. Better quality. This size and bigger is what I was hoping to find out here today. So we got one anyway. All right, Mr. Blue Cat. See you next time. And here you go. All right, guys. Took a while. We finally got something a little better and we got our bait back, so. Let me just make sure it's still hooked good. It is. Still in good shape too, so we'll send it right back down. Right now I have skipjack baited on all my rods. The shad just tears so easy. And with the plague of small fish I've been dealing with, 
they're just stripping that shad off as soon as I can drop it down. So I switched everything out with larger pieces of skipjack just to try to at least keep my baits on the hook for as long as possible. So I keep hoping I'm gonna outrun these small fish. We'll see if it happens. Here goes this back rod now. I think this might be a little better fish too. This is on another head piece. We do to get on some better quality fish, ain't we? We deserve it, doggone it. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be no monster, but... No. Slightly bigger dink. Making a ruckus up here. That bait there is... The other side of it was all chewed up there. I'll show you here in a second. We're going to have to bring him in because he's got that line wrapped around his face to the point he can't open his mouth for me to get my hand in there. Oh, goodness. We got that. Boy, you and your friend down there. Both all riled up. There we go. He had that line just lassoed around his mouth and I couldn't get my hand in it. He was down there in the water. Well, we got us another one anyway. At least one big enough to hook up. So we'll send him home. Now let's take a look at our bait over here. And I was reeling him in. It looked like this thing was all chewed up on the... Yeah, it is on this one side here. This side looks okay. You get on this side, you can see where them small fish have just been down there just pecking. Now it does still have some meat in there. You can see it's still kind of bleeding a little bit. So since I just in all these small fish here, I'm going to go ahead and drop it back down. It's still got a large profile down there. It's still just packed with oils and got some blood in it. So we'll send it back down. We'll see if we can get another one on it. If not, we'll just continue to feed the little ones. <laughs> Feed the hungry children, as Sally Struthers used to want us to do. There we go. Oh, he's gonna pull a little bit now. Y'all, I've just continued to cover water. You might can see that island way up there. I've just kept making my way down this bar, riding it out. I'm just having peck after peck after peck. Because I know there's got to be some better quality fish on this bar. It just has to be. I may not catch them, but they got to be here. So I've rode it out through these small fish. and I don't know what this in here is going to be like. I think he's a little better quality. Yeah, that's a better quality fish right there. It's going to be... That's probably the best one of the morning right here. It's another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he's going to take off. I knew he was being too calm up through there. I knew he had more energy in him. He just wasn't, wasn't fighting hard enough. He was saving it. But that's going to be the best one thus far. You, just, you get a bar like this with some depth to it. That's a, that's a year-round type structure. There's almost always going to be some fish on a place like this. And we have got pretty good in right here. Let me see if I can get him back over here. Well, he ain't ready to calm down yet, is he? I'm going to have to tire him out a little more. This one here just the, decided to wait till. He got up here and took a look at you all, realized what was going on before he started to fight. <laughs> I don't think he likes the way we look or something. He's trying to run away from us. Bad news for him, his mouth is big enough to get that hook. We might get that bait back too. It's right there on the side of his face. quit it now. There he is, y'all. Not bad. 
Let's land him. Okay, let's bring him in. You guys, that right there. Oh, oh, he's going to flop around like him others. That's definitely the best one of the morning. That's a good one right there. This is what I was hoping to hook into out here today. We just had to sort through a bunch of dinks to get him, but the old skipjack head got it done for me again. If I can get hold of it. We're going to try to... Well, I'll probably switch it out. That thing is tore up. You can see what them dinks do. I had a big chunk of its body when I dropped it down, and the dinks have just... Well, they've ate it. <laughs> they do what they do, which is eat. But I'm out here feeding them so they can grow to be this size right here someday. Again, I'm going to try to stand up here and hold him out. I don't know if I can get him all in frame or not. He's probably, I'd say, 36 inches or so, give or take, in that range. He's a, he's a good fish. I probably should have brought my board with me today since I don't have my front camera working. Say bye, buddy. But uh, I've had people ask me about my board and why I haven't been measuring fish and whatnot. And it's just, I was only doing that for the tournaments. And since I'm not fishing those tournaments anymore, I don't have a need to carry the board with me because I don't really care how long they are. But I maybe should have brought it today just to give some kind of, give some kind of reference point for these fish since I don't have that front camera and that I can, you know, hold it up for you. And so... I don't know, lesson learned, but hopefully I'll get my camera issues sorted out before the next video. So uh, hopefully it won't be a problem going forward. But anyway, guys, I'm going to put another skipjack head on this rod. We'll drop it down, keep working our way down this bar. Right now I'm in 41 feet and uh, not going to go too much further down here. I'm just about to the end of where I'm wanting to fish here. So we'll see how it goes for the remainder of this stretch and then come up with a plan once I get down here to the end of it. I'm gonna pick up on this rod. I think we've got one on there that's, yeah, he's gotten hooked up. This one I thought we was done with them dinks. Lay back again. Just a little thing. He's hooked himself in the side of the face and threw my bait off. These things out here today have just plagued me y'all i have been plagued by the fish and not in a good way this thing here is just a baby they can do the damage on your baits but with the gear i use they just ain't much fun to catch now if i was out here with an ultralight rod or a light action rod fish this size would be a lot of fun but on the heavier tackle they just can't do much for you other than frustrate you when they take your bait. <laughs> well, guys, I am out of time on this morning's trip. I finished out my drift there along that bar and crossed over to the other side of the channel and started working down this ledge and didn't get any more fish down through here. Had a bunch of dink taps going on. It's like musical rods out here. I've just been plagued by those small fish from where I started all the way down through here, but you know, just not a lot of solid hookups today. I did get a couple decent blues, which I'm happy about, but uh, overall it's been just those small fish that have been down there just stripping my hooks all morning long. I went through a lot of bait for no more fish than I caught. But uh, anyway, guys, I had a good time out here with the fish I did catch. I'll be back out here again soon. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.